What's going on y'all, it's DG back with another video today, giving y'all my first impressions review on these right here, the brand new MV04s. Again, these are all my personal opinions. Starting with the traction guys, you have this storytelling buyer line pattern. Traction is pretty inconsistent in my personal opinion so far. I played on two different courts so far and both of them were relatively clean. At first, it has a really good bite you know, squeaks relatively loud if you guys like squeak. But over time, especially as it accumulates dust, it definitely just becomes slick. When I was playing just normal pickup games in these, I did not feel 100% confident in the traction. I was definitely having a little bit of a slide with like every step, so I did have to wipe a lot. The durability on this traction pattern is already fraying, so I don't think you should bring these outdoors unless you want to. Sometimes I would have really good stops, but a lot of the times, I did feel that slickness or that slipperiness. I do think what kind of saves this traction pattern is that the grooves are a little bit malleable. So when you are making a stop after a harsh movement or just, you know, spreading down the court, once you make that stop, the rubber tends to like grab the floor just a little bit. But I don't really like this traction pattern too much. Even from a design standpoint, I feel like it's more of a storytelling pattern rather than a performance type one. The step in comfort is there a little bit. So it does kind of feel comfortable from a try on perspective. But once you're playing, once you're in motion, it feels super flat and not having a lot of energy return with that. I just didn't really like the cushion setup that much. It does provide a solid amount of court feel, but there's nothing really stand out about the cushion compared to other you know basketball shoes that are available as well i didn't really feel like the cushion was helping me nor did i feel any bounce from this shoe but again it's just my personal opinion you know it's kind of comfortable from that try on perspective like i can see people liking these for guards i think you may want something with a little bit more rebounds a little bit more you know bounce to your step you know a little bit more compression even so those are my thoughts on the cushion setup i do like using my move insoles in the shoe because i feel like for this shoe it's a little bit necessary because I don't really feel a lot of heel to toe transition. Again, I don't really feel a lot from the cushion setup, so I do like putting these in. But even with these, I don't feel like the cushion setup is for me, at least in this shoe. So I guess the move insoles provided a marginal improvement, but at the same time, you know, I don't really like the cushion setup overall. I really do like the fit in this shoe. It fits true to size and the materials on the interior just feel like a nice kind of compression. I do feel like this is solid for wide footers as well. There's nothing really restrictive about the materials that, you know, pinch my foot in any sort of way. So I do like going true to size for these. One call out about the shoe is that on this lateral side right here towards the toe box, you guys can see this you know, extension of the upper a little bit in terms of design. The material that they're using on this white portion, those like white wiggly lines, is a little bit slick and slippery. There was just one time where I kind of felt that slickness because I was like turning my foot, curving my foot a little bit like this way. I can imagine maybe for like a really shifty player, this may be an issue. And the one thing that I will mention as well is that the Curry 6, you guys remember the Curry 6 on the lateral side of the heel or like the rear end of the shoe, it was plastic. There's also a clip of Curry slipping due to that where, you know, on the Curry 6, there was plastic on the side and he kind of slipped on that edge. So I wanted to mention that for all my really shifty players, I don't necessarily like it. I feel like they could have made that material of those lines a little bit more green grippy or just like rubber in general because it's not. The support of the shoe is solid but it's definitely not the lowest to the ground. I do feel like I'm sitting on top of something so you're not going to be having 100% court feel. It does have an internal heel counter in the shoe which is pretty rigid. It is a mid top of design and the tongue actually goes up really high in this shoe which is cool. I would say the support features are average. The base of the shoe I wouldn't say is super wide as well. In terms of the upper materials of the shoe, Puma is saying they're using synthetics and textiles. Materials, you know, get the job done, but at the same time, it's not a premium type of shoe. On the interior though, it does feel soft. Again, I really do like the fit in this shoe. I do feel like it fits true to size. I wouldn't really say there's extra reinforcement around the upper because from a glance, it kind of feels like there's just stickers of this design on the upper. Overall, I'm not too big of a fan of the MB04. I do think it's a very average shoe and there's so many better performers out there 
where you can definitely justify buying something else and skipping out on these completely. I will say though, I do appreciate from Puma the consistency in design and the design language and kind of the evolution of that. If you like Lamello Ball, these are definitely just wild and really cool to have. Kind of place myself in the shoes of a kid where, you know, you open the box, it looks really cool, and you're just really happy with the shoe, right? You have a basketball shoe that you can use and that's all that matters. These look awesome. You like Lamello Ball, right? Like I kind of can see that perspective, especially as a kid, guys. But from a performance standpoint, there's just so many other better performers. There's a lot of signature Nike basketball shoes on sale. Even from Adidas, they have their signature basketball lineup. The Dame 9 is a pretty good performer. Even from Under Armour, they're releasing the Fox 1 soon, as well as the Curry 12, which is already out, which is a lot better than these, in my opinion. Not to mention overseas brands. So those are my thoughts on the MBO4, guys. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of these. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, especially if you made it this far. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.